Okay, so this is a, an experiment to show you how firstly you can raise the temperature of water by heating it. But also once it gets to a certain temperature and we'll see what temperature that is, something different happens. So while I'm adding heat to it, the temperature will keep rising. You can see that it's already rising because um, the temperature of the water was higher than that at room temperature for some reason. But now it's flattened. When I turn this on, that temperature should begin to rise. Now it is an electric heater, so I presume this is not going to happen very rapidly. <laughs> flat and there there's a slight upward trend so the temperature that it was uh, initially flattened at was about 27 degrees Celsius and now you can see it's beginning to go up quite steadily So these little electric heaters have a heating element which takes a while to get hot as well, which is why it, the temperature doesn't start rising immediately. But it's certainly more efficient than trying to heat a pot of water on a stove, which if you've noticed takes a long time to get to a boil. And this is primarily because the, because the heat capacity of water is very high. So this is probably delivering 4,184 joules per kilogram of water to raise it by one degree Celsius. And you can see by how many degrees this is going up. Or one calorie per gram per degree Celsius. The fact that it's rising linearly means the energy that the heater is del delivering to the water is roughly constant. It's doing so at a constant rate with some fluctuations. That's just about two minutes, maybe, We're getting to be two minutes. We started at about 90 seconds. I don't know if the camera can spot this, but there's like little wisps of steam coming up. So even though the temperature is still rising, some of that water is becoming vapor already. And how is that? Because it's not yet at the boiling point of water. And that's because at any temperature, the most energetic of the molecules can still escape and change from liquid form to uh, gaseous form. So the temperature is really a measure of the mean kinetic energy of the molecules. There are always some that are less energetic and some that are more. You can hear it now. That characteristic sound of the trapped air escaping, the bubbling. I'm getting steam inhalation here. 
Um, and you can see now that the temperature has begun to flatten. It's reached 100 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling point of water at um, atmospheric pressure. And it's flattened. It's no longer going up. That is to say, all the heat that's going into the water, rather than raising its temperature, is going into changing all the water in there from liquid to gas. So it's going into changing the phase of the water.